How many times have you heard the statement, I just wish I was normal? Perhaps maybe you thought it yourself. There is something that happens inside of TVs and movie shows where they show the main character get super frustrated and upset and they just say, I just wish I was normal. Or a kid gets embarrassed by their parents in front of their friends and they say, I just wish I had a normal family. Well, what is normal? And is it really worth pursuing? And what is the alternative to being normal? Well, we're going to dive into this right now to figure out, is it really worth being normal? And what's the cost of not being normal? The first thing to consider is that what is normal for some person is not automatically normal for someone else. You see, someone may like to go fishing while another person likes to go swimming while another person likes to go play video games. They're all different things. Now, what this means is that it's very subjective to what someone says is normal. The implication is that normal is average and a desire to be like everybody else. But here's the thing, being average is overrated. That's right, I said it, it's overrated. And let me explain why it's overrated. I went to a public high school when I was growing up and there was this teacher that was getting ready to retire soon. She was had to be in her late 80s and she was one of my favorite teachers there. And her name was Miss Ellis and she would have no filter whatsoever at all. She said whatever she wanted. And she was like I said, she was getting ready to retire. And one of the things that she used to say, cause she was very wise, was that if you walk the halls, you will walk the streets. And it's such a profound statement because like I said, she's at the end of her teaching career and there would be students that would come back after they didn't graduated and she'll see how their, their life turned out. And so she was able to witness that the habits that they developed in high school transition over to their lives and to other parts of their lives and how they behaved and the work ethic that some developed transitioned over to when they got out of school and the work ethic that some didn't have that also transitioned. And for those that would hang out in the hallways, they would say, what are you talking about? Everybody does it. It's normal. Well, just because everybody's doing something doesn't mean that it's in your best interest. And so let's look at some stats on how the average person really lives their life. The National Health Statistics and the CDC says that roughly two thirds of adults are obese or overweight. Now there's a new report from the Lending Club that says that over 61% of adults in America are living paycheck to paycheck. This is not just low income people, but this is at every income level that people are living paycheck to paycheck. And here's another one. How long does a couple that decides to get married actually stay married? Well, according to the US Census Bureau, it's only eight years, not 20, like or 18 like Italy it's only eight so as you can see the average person is not happy sure I can present more data to you but you get the point but I want to also make it known that you do not have to be a statistic you don't have to be average see for me when I was growing up I was a black person obviously and one of my friends they end up selling drugs one of the friends I had, they end up going, joining a gang and end up shooting someone and killing someone. And they end up going to jail. Another friend that I had ended up getting their baby mama pregnant. And me, I ended up going to college. So there are lots of ways to say that, oh, this statistic is just normal and just is what it is. But you don't have to be a statistic. But it's also true that common sense is not common because what people tend to do is they tend to try to hide from the truth instead of confront the truth and embrace the reality of the situation that they're in. What someone considers to be normal has more to do with their expectation of the future. See, if you expect your future to be doom and gloom, then you're going to behave in a way that supports that worldview. But if you believe that your future is bright, then you have a destination in mind and you have direction. Being average is easy, but what's challenging is being different. See, Helen Keller said, character cannot be developed in ease and quiet, 
Only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, ambition inspired, and success achieved. See, she was on to something. It even says in the Bible that to be lazy is not a good thing, but to be diligent about the things that we do. You see, if you want more out of life, then you have to become more. And that requires you to rise above your circumstances. And you have to understand that you can't compare yourself to other people. You can't compare apples to oranges because they're not the same thing. They don't taste the same. But you were meant for more. And that's what we're about on this channel. We're about serving people at a higher level. And in order to do that, you have to become the person necessary to bring about that result. And in order to do that, you have to align yourself with wisdom. Tomorrow is not promised. For crying out loud, today is not even promised. Anything can happen. But the reality is every day that we wake up, it's a blessing. And it gives us the opportunity to improve. And if we choose not to improve, then our lives are not going to get better. This is only going to get worse. And so we get to decide what our new normal is going to be. What is your normal? Because you get to decide. You get to decide your habits, your routines. You get to decide where the direction of your life is going to go. And if you want to be like everybody else, then you are take the risk of losing the ability to craft the direction of your life. And instead, you're just following this crowd. Well, here's the thing. Even leaders are great followers, but they're following a vision. So allow yourself to see the vision that God has placed inside of your heart so that you can be moving towards greatness and you can decide what your new normal is going to be. What is normal for you? Because it doesn't have to be what's normal for everybody else. And you can find the joy and peace that God has for you only by being who he called you to be. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We release videos every week. I am your boy Roberto Swift and I will see you in the next one. I'm out.